What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Kari, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. After multiple iterations of a classic Air Jordan 1 colorway, we finally got an interesting twist on that colorway. I was able to get a little bit of early access thanks to the sneakers exclusive access, and today we're going to take a look at that sneaker. So without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0. This is possibly what the shadow was supposed to be before the shadow that we all came to know and love existed. I'll talk a little bit more about that after we talk about the shoe itself. Let's dive in. All right, guys, it's a classic Air Jordan 1, which means one of two things. It's a classic silhouette and it's probably gonna sell out very quickly. But on this iteration, we actually see that shadow gray that looks exactly like its predecessor, the Air Jordan Jordan 1 shadow, but with a little different take. Just like the OG shadows, we see that shadow gray around the collar of the shoe, around the heel of the shoe, and on the swoosh of the shoe. Now, all the gray that you see on the upper of the sneaker is in new buck, and it's a pretty nice new buck. It's not bad. I'll give the new buck maybe a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. This leather... This leather is a different story though. So the black leather on the shoe, it could be better. It's a standard leather and I'll just say that, right? It's a standard leather. It's nothing that you're gonna write home about, but for the $170 price tag and the amount of new buck that you're gonna get for that 170, they probably had to sacrifice something somewhere and they sacrificed it in terms of this black leather. So the new buck is pretty nice, but the black leather surrounding this sneaker and down on the toe box, Mm, it's it's okay. Taking a top down look at the shoe here, classic Air Jordan 1 nylon tongue. You can really see the difference, that contrast between the OG shadows and the Shadow 2.0s when you see this gray going all around the toe box with that black toe box as opposed to the invert with the shadow color toe box with the black around the toe. But your preference is your preference. Sound up down below. Let me know which one you guys prefer. Now you do still get that Shadow Air Jordan 1 tongue tag with that really nice shadow gray stitched Nike Air. You also get standard black laces and you also get smoke gray laces with these as well so you can mix and match them however you like most people are probably going to put the gray laces in but i tend to be a more classic guy i'll probably go with the black on the outsole of the shoe plain black outsole and on the insole of the shoe plain black insole with that smoke gray nike air on the heel and that's pretty much it when it comes to the air jordan one shadow 2.0 i mean it's a really clean really simple sneaker and i think that's the thing that i like the most about these is just just as clean and simple and easy to rock with any kind of outfit that you want to put it with just as much as this predecessor just as much as the OG they don't take too much away from the classic colors of this sneaker here really the only difference is the gray eyelets the gray mud guards and the gray around the toe box of the shoe but everything else is classic shadow now getting into a little bit of history about this sneaker if you guys are interested in knowing where this exactly came from these 2.0s were actually a sample and they were actually seen in a very rare Japanese magazine that's called Sneaker Jack Magazine. I believe it was 2003 and they did a special book or that's a magazine slash book. It was a really thick looking collector's edition magazine book and it actually dove into a lot of classic Air Jordan colorways and a lot of samples. Jordan brand has really been in their sample bag lately and if you guys didn't realize they've been in their sample bag, you're about to see it even more. You guys have seen those photographs of the Travis Scott Fragment Air Jordan 1 High collaboration. Those were actually taken from inspiration between a reverse royal sample of Air Jordan 1 Highs that were also featured in that book. Just like those samples, there was a sample reverse Air Jordan 1 Shadow that looked exactly like these that were also featured in that book. And a couple of photos of some promo samples were floating around the internet and in Nike Talk and in the dark depths of where the OG sneaker collectors talk and so nobody ever thought that these would really be a thing but here they are and I think it's really interesting that Nike has such a deep bench when it comes to the things that they can release to us they've released four maybe five different iterations of shadows I believe they came out of course the OGs in 85 we got I believe a jump man kind of a mid version of a shadow looking shoe we've gotten different retros in 2018 I believe in 2013 we've gotten shadow iterations on football cleats the Alele May Air Jordan 1 actually took inspiration from the shadow Air Jordan 1 as well so we've seen this colorway inspired by a lot of other Air Jordan 1s but never quite like this so now Jordan brand has made all that money from all those shadow Air Jordan ones and now here we are with the 2.0 where they're about to make money 
pretty much all over again with these. And I'm not mad at it. It's a good looking shoe. It's a really good looking shoe as a matter of fact. So even though the materials may not be shattered backboard material, which I would really like us to stop talking about shattered backboard material on leather, but it may not be that kind of leather, but it's a great looking sneaker. And I'm gonna tell you like this, this sneaker is going to sell out when it drops on May the 15th. One more thing I also wanted to point out about the Shadow 2.0, some people were concerned about if grade school pairs were going to be the same quality. And the answer is yes. This right here is a grade school pair as well of the Shadow 2.0. I also was able to pick these up on exclusive access as well. And if you guys can see here, the exact same materials, exact same type of nubuck, exact same type of leather actually, me crazy but this leather feels just a touch softer but it might just be because it's a smaller sneaker but yeah this sneaker is going to be the exact same quality of materials as the men's pair was so if you're a little foot person a grade school type person congratulations you're going to get pretty much the same sneaker that the bigger men's pairs are going to get all right guys listen that's pretty much all that i got about these now it's time for you guys to sign up down below and let me know what you guys think about the air jordan one shadow 2.0 slated to drop on may the 15th are you guys going to be picking these up are these going to be a hard pass for you do you need to have me your collection you know the drill sign up down below let me know of course right down in the comments make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the sneaker fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because i guarantee you i got a lot more heat on the way as always i want to thank you guys for joining me here today on sneaker fetish taking a look at these with me unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes i go by the name of this is the air jordan one shadow 2.0 and until next time I'm out.